Until about 10 or 15 years ago, anyone who believed in aliens was considered a conspiracy theorist or a Christian. That's right, I am officially responding to some of Nephilim Free's UFO videos. What can I say? He falls into the definition of Euphotard, has produced several videos relevant to this series, and they are so amazingly crazy and stupid that I just cannot resist. Events are unfolding before our very eyes, however, which are making people around the world stand up and take notice. And many highly intelligent and highly educated people are coming out and stating that they actually believe in aliens. That is true to an extent. A very large number of scientists have, because of things like Drake's equation, stated that they believe aliens to exist. However, no reasonably sane, relevantly credentialed expert has ever stated that they believe aliens to have visited Earth. And no, ufology is not a real science, so it does not count as a credential. Throughout history, mankind has observed and recorded on, in paintings on rocks these, these objects in the sky, which do perplexing things. The Bible gives us the inside scoop on the origin of these things. It tells us that the angels which sinned were cast out of heaven. And what relevance does that actually have to aliens, you know, creatures that uh, evolved on other planets and would presumably come here if they're visiting us, you know, aliens? That is what you're talking about, right? Jesus Christ said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Well, he fell into sin, but was cast out of heaven. Jude 1 tells us of the angels which kept not their first estate. You see, UFOs are demonic. That being the last of my faith in humanity. Christians already knew this. But the world is going to believe a lie. Richard Dawkins has stated that he's willing to believe that it's possible that life on this earth was designed by an intelligence from outer space. He's not willing to believe that the God of the Bible is the creator of this life because he rejects God for emotional reasons, because God states that he hates sin and requires humility to him. We must be humble to him. God, uh, Richard Dawkins doesn't like that idea, so he rejects the God of the Bible as the creator, but he's willing to believe that aliens could have been the creators of life on this earth. Yes, that's uh, one of the reasons there's the common expression uh, who let the zoologist out of the lab regarding Richard Dawkins. Richard Dawkins is good when dealing with matters of evolution. However, as soon as you let him talk about anything else, he very consistently makes a complete fool of himself. Other highly intelligent, highly educated people are coming forth and stating that they believe aliens are real and that they will come and visit us someday. Yes, some experts do believe that they will. The tense is important. It's future tense, implying they think something is going to happen, not that they think something is happening or ever has happened in the past. This is a very important thing. Because it, will, it is a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. No, no, actually it isn't. It's coming true before our very eyes. Consider this statement recently made by the world-famous astrophysicist Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking is in the news tonight as one of the bona fide smart people on the planet when the renowned astrophysicist warned us about aliens from outer space this weekend. People tended to listen up. On his new Discovery Network series, Stephen Hawking says, if aliens visit us here on Earth, quote, 
The outcome would be much as when Columbus landed in America, which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans, end of quote. Make a note, he indicates we should stay away from them at all costs. Stephen Hawking's statement is correct. It's not going to go down well for us. This quote does nothing to support your point, Neff. In fact, it blatantly contradicts it, as Hawking's statement seems to be a recommendation that we try to avoid being visited by aliens, and that in the event that we were, we should not be open at accepting, and in fact should attempt to fight them off. So it in no way helps your case that an alien is going to come down and claim to be our creator, and that'll turn out to be the Antichrist. The Bible tells us that there will come a man we call the Antichrist, and he will take control of this world, and he's going to do away with everything good and promote everything evil. He's going to claim to be our savior. He will claim to be our creator. And people like Richard Dawkins are going to swallow the lie, hook, line, and sinker. Many, many others will too. In fact, the whole world, almost the whole world, will believe the lies. No, Neff. No one would believe it. You know why? It's because science has proven beyond all reasonable doubt that the explanation for the origin of life is natural, and that the explanation for the diversity of life is likewise natural. Christians will have to go into hiding to worship God, and then they'll be hunted down, like Joseph Stalin hunted down Christians, dragged out into the streets, and they will be executed. And the world will, will love this, because they will see Christians as intolerant, because we do not like the evil in the world, and they love the evil because they have not the light of God in them. No, Neff. The reason that many people view Christians as intolerant is because of people like you. You are well documented misrepresenting biblical passages in order to justify your own sexism. So they're going to love the evil, see, things that are evil. People who reject God are always pushing the envelope and trying to make things which are evil seem more acceptable to society, you see. Just in the last 20 years, we have seen a tremendous amount of evil arise in the entertainment industry. Music stars are admitting that they sold their souls to the devil. I challenge you, Neff, to name just two popular, unconnected, professional musicians who have actually stated that. They promote the Illuminati and Freemasons with their symbols and symbolism. They fill their songs with, with nothing but lust and drugs. The vast majority of songs are about sex. Because sex is Satan's greatest tool for defiling the man. Now, I think recent events have made you officially unable to criticize others for what you deem to be sexual sin. You see, this Antichrist is going to come and claim to be our Savior, and people are going to love him for it. Christians will be mass murdered, and uh, the world will fall into this lie. And people are going to believe that he's an alien, you see. He's going to claim to be an intelligence from another world that created us, and he's come to save us. So many people are just ready to swallow the lie. No, Neff. We would simply point out to the alien the massive amount of empirical evidence that the origin of life on this planet, as well as its diversity, can be, and in fact are, explained by naturalistic explanations. The only people who would be stupid enough to fall for that lie would be creationists. What we call aliens, they're not aliens. They're demons. They are angels which were cast from heaven that are coming here, setting us up for the delusion. That is why there have been more and more and more 
UFO sightings in the last 30 or 40, 50 years than there were throughout history. In fact, in the last 20 years, there have been a tremendous mountain number of them. They're preparing us for the shock of realizing that we're not alone in the universe. But we're not, what we're not alone with is not aliens from another world. The angels God cast from heaven. And they're not here to be your friend. They're not here to make things better. They're not going to give you a better world. What they're going to do is lead people to hell. They're going to lead people to reject Jesus Christ and be cast into the lake of fire by our real Creator. Don't fall for the lie. Find God. Let Him give you wisdom. Your eyes will be opened.